This is a C programming question. We have been given a code and we need to determine what will be the output printed by that. So let us see what this code is doing. It is declaring a 4 cross 5 which is a two dimensional array ARR. So that array will be something like this. It is having four rows and five columns. So we can make it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The indexes will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 respectively. So this is our array. Now what they are doing is they are looping over this array using two for loops. They are traversing each and every element and they are initializing it using 10 times i plus j which means 10 times the row value plus the column value. These are our i indexes. These are our j indices. So let us fill the entire array and then let us determine what will be the output printed. So for this first index 0 comma 0 it will be 10 times of 0 plus 0 which is 0. Then in this entire first row the value of this 10 times of i will be same because i is not changing only j is changing. So for the entire first row 10 times of i will give us 0 and to that we are adding the j value. So it will simply be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now for this second row 10 times of i will give us 10. Now to that 10 we will be adding these 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So it will be 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Similarly for i equal to 2 this value will be fixed as 20 and to that we will be adding the j value. So that will give 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. Then similarly for this last row that will give us 30, 31, 32, 33 and 34. Now we have created this entire matrix and we need to determine the output of this address star of array of 1 plus 9 which means array of 1 will take us to this first row of this matrix and to that we are adding the offset as 9 which means we have to move 9 steps ahead from this particular address. So this is our array of 1. From this if we move 9 steps ahead it will give us this is step 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we have reached this element 24. Why did we move to 20 from 14? Because they are stored in the contiguous memory location. We can assume that they are stored in the row order fashion. So after this first row is completed, we will go to the next address which would be at 20. So from the given address which was the address of this 10 array of 1. It was the address of this 10 actually and from that if we move 9 steps ahead in this contiguous manner we reach this element 24 and we are dereferencing that address using this operator. So the value printed will be the value stored at this particular location which is 24. So the output printed for this code will be 24.